All right, so I figured what I would do is um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change the pinion. There's a certain amount of stuff that you don't need to show, but I'm noticing with this truck, just like as I'm looking at it, as I'm going through the truck and kind of, you know, doing repairs and going over things, I'm noticing like does look like potentially this may have backed off a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and so I'm going to tighten those screws right there or at least give them a check. Um, going throughout the truck, realizing how easy it is to fix. Now, I've repaired or replaced that B block and that is normally the one that is is the harder one what's going on over there normally that is the harder one to go ahead and get but the repair on this truck was very easy i'm also noticing like how things are put together so to get the pinion kind of off because i do want to bump that up a couple teeth i do believe that i have to take off this cage now this cage is held on by one two and then three four screws okay and that will pop this cage off i'm noticing they left a location here to be able to get a driver in from underneath and you can also get a driver in here from underneath as well so they've they've positioned things in the right way to make it so you can go ahead and do these things now the only thing that's kind of in the way is this cover but is it really i don't really think it is because once this is off i'll be able to totally totally go ahead and get at that pinion the other thing is i'm gonna have to move the motor so the motor itself is gonna have to slide so we're gonna find out how much room do i have or at least me wanting to bump this up two teeth am i gonna have the necessary room or am i gonna have the room to be able to go ahead and bump that up and do i even have the right Opinion. So, if you want to see what it takes to go ahead and swap out opinion, that's what this video is for. So, let's check it out. Why is the Traxxas thing doing explosions? You know why. Because it's a Traxxas, that's why. Traxxas always gets explosions, man. <laughs> it does. It doesn't matter what it is. It'll get explosions. If you want content for your vehicle, film a Traxxas. <laughs> if you don't want views, film this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm being funny. Facetiously funny, but I am being kind of real though. So to move this motor, it has um, three screws that you need to uh, crack. So you've got two motor screws right here. This is for the motor plate. And then the screw that's on the back side there, that is for the um, the back side like motor uh, holder. It's like, a, it's like a little separate piece. So I'm going to get my driver here. And I'm going to see if I can crack these open. And that's definitely Loctited. Oh. Cracked. Cracked. Get in there. And that hole is very convenient. And cracked. All right. So those screws are undone. Let's flip this over. Now this uh, I do see one small issue where they've got this rooted through it's gonna make it so it's a little difficult to go ahead and pull this off so what I am gonna do and something I just realized I could have taken off one two three four five six is go after one Two, ah, oh, three, four, five, five screws. Ah, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> it's my first time here. Dang it. I just made it harder for myself. So it's one additional screw. But let's see how this works. Because now I got to take off the three, so I didn't need to put on the other two. Oh, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, it is that one. Holy long screws. Oh, I think this battery's gonna die. Well, there won't be definitely there won't be no mistaken screws on that right there. Flip it over again and go after these three screws now. <laughs> Whoops! It's all right, man. Just learning here. So 
one. Two. Imagine if I was taken off the wrong side, that'd be terrible. There we go. So now, this side piece can come off. Check it out. Total access to that pinion now. Beautiful. It would be kind of a pain if I did have to take this off because that is dropping out. That is dropping out the, um, the thing there. So there doesn't seem like this. Ooh, there is not much room for a big opinion. Oh, is there any room? Oh yeah, it's definite. Yeah, it's totally away. All right, so it looks like maybe only possibly two teeth. So I gotta see what size pinion this is. I think this was a 15, yeah. So this is a 15 tooth pinion. Fifteen tooth pinion, you can see it right there, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate that till I can see the set screw. That is a two. That's another thing, it's a two. So and that's gonna be <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna break out the fire. So that's where it could potentially be an issue. Oh man, that's, that is, there we go, we got it. It's gonna say, so it's a 15 tooth pinion. So I'm gonna see if I've got a 17 tooth to go ahead and get after that. So um, you will po probably have the possibility of melting that if you're not careful. So I was able to do it with just a touch of heat and I was able to get this uh, set screw off here. So, and it is definitely Loctited on. So let's see what I've got for a 15 tooth, uh, 17 tooth mod, whatever. So we got a 21 there, 17 right there. So 17 tooth pinion, 1 8 motor gear with a five millimeter shaft. Part number is 89328 from Hibau. So this is the one that I'm going to go ahead and go with. Just wanted to bump it up. Uh, just the two, two teeth from a 15. So Hibau does give you two set screws. So got a 17 right there from a 15. So I am going to put a little bit of Loctite on this thing. It's a little bit too much. So I feel that's sufficient. So let's see. Get this on there. Okay. 17 definitely fits. So I'm doing is I'm using my finger to align that gear. I want to make sure I have a good alignment. So it looks like I want to push it on just a little bit. I'm keeping my finger on that back side. Just like that. Give it a crank. Now Looks like I could potentially fit maybe, maybe an 18 if I had wanted to, but I don't want to. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip the truck back over. I'm going to take that secondary, 
set screw they gave me. And I'm just going to kind of keep it with this right there, that pinion. So now I'm going to flip the truck and check my mesh. Yeah, definitely feels like I could actually go to an 18. Other than that, I would have to slot this somehow. That seems okay. So I'm just going to give it a tweak. And I'm going to rotate it. Just to get it in a different location. And that's a little too loose of me. Oh, actually check it right through the side here now nah, you know what actually yeah I think I do want to tighten it up just a tweak That's it. So that's where that's going to stay. I'm liking that. Okay. Flip it back over. Reinstall this little side panel here. Two long screws go for this uh, middle plate. Now I'm going to flip it over and just do the bottom screws just because it's going to be easier. Just, I know I'm talking it, but. I'm just going to flip it over where I can do these three screws on the bottom here without changing out the bit. That's the only reason why I'm doing it. Alright. Now put in these two last screws. <laughs> it took almost all the juice for this uh, Ryobi thing here. All right, so literally that was it. That was swapping out the pinion, changing from the 15 tooth factory stock pinion that it came in that that it came out of the box. Yeah. Switching to a Habao 17 tooth pinion, and I did give you the part number for that. It looks like an 18 tooth would potentially be max. And then beyond that, I think you're going to start maybe getting into heating issues. Do you really need to go faster than an 18 tooth? It's a 17 in there right now. So I'm going to go. So I'm going to go ahead over to Diamond Dust right now, and I'm going to see how much speed did I pick up, how much control and if I change the heat in that motor. Granted, I know I've changed the heat in that motor by doing this, but that's only because of the trigger burying. So anyways, RC Guy Garage, I'm out, or I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna rip it at Diamond Dust. What about you? It just eats that terrain up, man.